Uh, I want to ask you a question about uh, specifically Dr. Murray's statement to the police in which he said he, uh, I believe the exact words were, he slowly infused 25 milligrams over three to five minutes. Do you know what I, to what I'm referring? Yes. Okay. And do you recall in his statement that he also said before doing so that he turned off uh, the saline before uh, infusing the uh, 25 milligrams of propofol? Yes, I do recall that. How would one uh, turn off the saline? You would use a clamp, um, and there was that, that little white clamp that you, you can see right there. That, I think it's probably there. On the exhibit currently on the elbow projector, there is a white clamp, and that's intended to completely shut off the infusion line. Dr. Murray, in his interview, described that he clamped the infusion line first, as I have done here. And he said he slowly gave this over two, over three to five minutes. I'm going to do it just a little bit faster, but not too much faster. And the propofol is going down the tubing? Propofol is now going down the tubing. And what you see is that it's all in the tube. None of it reaches the patient. So even if I had injected this over five minutes, no propofol has gone to the patient with this particular tubing set. And I have to do a little bit of calculations on the geometry of the other set. But one an anesthesiologist, a nurse anesthetist, anybody who is familiar with IV injections knows that you don't turn this off. Because by turning it off, you're preventing the drug from getting to the patient. So now when I unclamp this, it flows into the patient. But it didn't flow into the patient while this was clamped. So even though it was described as a slow infusion, the drug was sitting here and then it's being bolused in. So essentially <laughs> sitting in the tubing until the saline is unclamped so it can flow through and push the propofol into Correct. Michael Jackson. Correct. Because of the way it was described, which was not the way somebody trained in the administration of intravenous drugs would do this. You wouldn't clamp this, give the drug, and then unclamp this. It doesn't make sense. I just wish to say that this is an extremely unsafe setup because gravity is responsible for driving both of these. Gravity is driving them, and they are competing with each other for gravity. If I raise this up quite high, there's, this will, this, there's more force here, and this rate will slow down. If I drop this down, then there's more force here, and it will speed up. If the saline bag is turned off, this will speed up quite a bit, because there's no pump controlling the rate of this. You're dependent on gravity. And, that, and the set is not designed to be used that way. The set is designed to be used with an infusion pump controlling it right here. But there was no infusion pump. So it's, a, it's an intrinsically dangerous setup. Taking all the evidence uh, that you've uh, reviewed and all the deviations from the standard of care, uh, you concluded that Conrad Murray was not only a substantial factor, but a direct cause of Michael Jackson's death? Yes. He is a physician who has brought propofol into the room, started an intravenous, and provided access to propofol to a patient who may, in fact, be developing a dependency on sedatives. And he has been entrusted by Michael Jackson to look after his safety every night. And he has failed that responsibility while enabling the administration of intravenous propofol. He is responsible for every drop of propofol in that room. And lorazepam? Every drop of lorazepam in that room.